for this project I use two color of t-shirt yarn so this is cream color and this is purple and I used uh, two sizes of hook the first one is size 8 millimeter and the second one is size 6 millimeters and you will need scissors your needle and then marker all right let's get started so I'm gonna use my six millimeter hook and then my purple color first and now we're gonna make magic rings so I twist the yarn like this to make magic ring and hold it right here and then insert the hook into this loop and pull up the loop and then pull up the loop again like single crochet but this we don't count as single crochet this is part of magic ring and now we have the magic ring okay and then I can now make single crochet into this ring so insert the needle pull up the loop and pull out the loop like single crochet so this is our first single crochet I gonna paste the marker and then we gonna make five more single crochet into that ring space so insert the needle into that ring space pull up the loop single crochet okay so you just keep making single crochet into that ring till you have six single crochets so you can do different style of uh, magic rings it's have like different style but I like this style it's easier I think <laughs> Okay, when you have six single crochet into that ring, we're gonna pull this tail, tie it, and let's see. So this one, two, three, four, five, and six. And for next row, we're gonna make single crochet into that stitch, two single crochet, not in the marker stitch, okay, but in here. Remove marker and then two single crochet into that stitch okay it's kind of difficult to see okay this is first single crochet for this row and I'm gonna paste the marker so you know where you start and then one more single crochet into the same space all right and then two single crochet into next stitch not in there okay not in there but in here two single crochet in there One more in the same space. And then two single crochet into this stitch. One and two. And then two single crochet into this stitch okay I hope you guys can see one and two and then two single crochet into next stitch right here one and two and then two single crochet into next stitch 
right here. One and two. Okay, and let's see how many stitch we have. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. Okay, you will have twelve stitches on this row. Okay, so I gonna remove marker and for next row we're gonna make so we always gonna make into this stitch okay into the inside stitch right here all right so make single crochet in there and place the marker and then two single crochet into next stitch right here and then one single crochet into next stitch here and two single crochet into next stitch right here two single crochet in there and one single crochet into next stitch two single crochet into next stitch one single crochet into next stitch two single crochet into next stitch one single crochet into next stitch we can now re uh, repeat the same pattern like one single crochet into next stitch and two single crochet into next stitch like that just keep repeating that and one single crochet into next stitch And two single crochet into next stitch. Okay. So for this row, let's count it. So this is one right here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and eighteen. You will have eighteen stitches on this row. Okay, and next row, remove marker and one single crochet into next stitch. Put the marker back in and then one single crochet into next stitch. Two single crochets into next stitch. Oops. One and one more in the same stitch. Oops. And two. Okay. And then one single crochet into next stitch. And one single crochet into next stitch. Oops.
and then two single crochets into next stitch it's kind of like um, one single crochet and then one single crochet and then two single crochet like one one two we just repeat the same pattern okay so next you're gonna make one single crochet and then next one single crochet and then next two single crochet in same stitch okay so keep repeating this till you come to the end here I will wish you guys there when you come to the end you will have total of 24 single crochet stitches and then now we're gonna cut the yarn okay leave a little bit of tail not too much and pull the yarn out like so and remove marker and bring your yarn needle put the yarn in there And then I'm going to insert the needle into the second stitch here, okay? Not this one, but in the second one. Insert the needle in there. And then I'm going to insert my needle into this stitch right here, okay? And you will have the same 24 single crochet stitches. And you just hide the tail. Make sure it's secure. And then you just cut the yarn or the tail, okay? And next, we're gonna make all around this circle. For that, I will use my 8 millimeter hook side, and then I bring my um, cream color. You're gonna make into a back loop. Okay, you can start any stitch that you like. Insert the needle into the back loop. Oh, I forget to tell you guys, you need to make um, slip knot. And insert the needle right there into that loop. And pull it out like so. Make sure it's not too tight and not too loose. And then chain one. So this is one single crochet. I will call this one single crochet. And you need to make one more single crochet into the same stitch. So for the tail, I will hold on the back like that. So for the second single crochet, don't pull the cream color out. We're gonna chain color. I'm gonna bring my purple color and hold this on the back like this. Okay, this is how we change color, okay? And then pull the purple color out like so. So all the tail that we have, I want you guys to hold that like that. So next, we're going to skip one stitch and then two single crochet into next stitch with the uh, purple color. Back loop only. See, this is on the back. Just one and then one more in the same stitch. Okay, and then we're gonna chain color, okay? So don't pull the same color out. Chain to be the cream color. Pull it out. 
I'm gonna pull a little bit it's kind of loose and then skip one stitch and two single crochet into next stitch with the cream color back loop only one and then one more two all right every time we change color bring the new color up and pull the new color out like so okay so that's what we have so far see when we change color is beautiful and next skip one stitch and then two single crochet into next stitch back loop only that's what uh, inside look like okay skip one and two single crochet into next one oh oops it's a uh, different color sorry <laughs> wrong color okay skip one and two single crochet into next one one and then one more two and then chain color bring the cream color and put that cream color out uh, skip one stitch two single crochet into next stitch back loop only one and then one more okay and bring purple color up and pull it out and skip one stitch two single crochet into next stitch one more bring the cream color up and pull it out okay so you just keep repeating this till you come to the end here and I will meet you guys there alright when you come to the end it'll look like this and then next I want you paste the marker into the first stitch that we did the cream color that we did so we know where we start all right so next row we're gonna make two single crochet into this stitch right here okay not the top one not that stitch but in this stitch it's kind of difficult to see so insert the needle right there okay one and one more two same when you change color bring the new color up and pull it out and then two single crochet into this stitch all right this stitch not up here but down here I kind of pull the yarn up like this so you can see where to go through because it's kind of difficult to see so one and one more alright and then bring the cream color and pull it out like so and then two single crochet into that stitch gonna pull it up first and pull it down okay so you wanna pull this up so you can see the stitch behind 
and pull it through. I hold the yarn like this on the back. Pull up the loop. Let's single crochet. And one more single crochet into the same stitch. I always hold uh, the yarn on the back like that. Alright, and then bring uh, purple color up and pull it out. Okay. See, uh, you can cut uh, all the tail that we have. I just like to clean it out. <laughs> Okay, so you just keep repeating this. See the tail? I hold on the back like that. I mean the yarn. And then two single crochet into this stitch. One. And one more. Two. And then bring cream color up and pull it out and two single crochet into this stitch one more bring purple color up and pull it out Two single crochet into that stitch. I hope you guys can see. And two single crochet into this stitch. And bring purple color up and pull it out okay so I think you guys get it so just keep repeating this till you come to the end to the marker and then I will miss you guys there When you come to the marker stitch, that's what we have so far. That's what it look like. And this is what it look like inside. You see? And next row, we're going to do the same. Two single crochet into that stitch. Oops. You can pull the yarn up first and you can see the stitch behind that we're gonna insert the needle through. Okay. One single crochet and then one more single crochet. And bring the purple color up and pull it out like so. And then two single crochet into this stitch. See, I do that so you can see the back loop, the back stitch. And bring the cream color up and pull it out. And then two single crochet into that stitch. Pull it up and pull it through the back stitch. And one more single crochet in the same stitch. And bring purple color up 
and pull it out. Okay, this was we have so far, and you kind of see the stitch already. From now on, not gonna be that difficult for you guys to keep going. So we're gonna make repeat the same thing over and over till you have. I gonna make about fourteen rows, and then yeah, and I will meet you guys there. All right, so now I have. 14 rows so this one one here and two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen and fourteen okay and next I end with the purple color because we start with the white color, okay? So next, I bring my six millimeter hook side, and we're gonna make slip stitch around this circle. So I gonna cut uh, the cream color. We done with that color, and then bring your your needle. I just gonna hide the tail in there make sure it's secure and then trim the tail out and then bring your six millimeter hook side And we're gonna make slip stitch into the back loop only. Okay, so slip stitch in there. Insert the needle into the back loop and pull up the loop and pull through. This is first slip stitch. And I'm gonna place the marker. So you can remove this marker, remove it and then put it back in here that we did uh, first slip stitch and then make slip stitch into next stitch insert the needle pull up the loop and pull through and then make slip stitch into each stitch okay for this part I gonna make the stitch kind of like little tight I feel like it look good when it's really tight with this part all right so keep making slip stitch around here till you come to marker and then I will meet you guys there when you come to the marker so I will call this first row so we done making first row for the second row we're gonna do the same slip stitch into the back loop only so insert the needle pull up the loop and pull it through so now we start to make the second row okay insert the needle into the back loop pull up the loop and pull through see so you just keep repeating the same pattern slip stitch into the back loop in each stitch around and around till you have so I will make uh, eight row of this stitch okay so yeah I will meet you guys when you have total of eight rows all right so yeah I have eight rows of this stitch and for the last row of a project so you need to make slip stitch into next stitch okay into the back loop the same in there insert the needle into the back loop and pull up the loop 
and pull it through and then chain one okay and then slip stitch into next stitch oh I want you guys to uh, place the marker into the first slip stitch too all right and then slip stitch into next stitch into the back loop only okay slip stitch and then chain one and slip stitch into next stitch and chain one and slip stitch into next stitch and chain one okay so just keep repeating this slip stitch and chain one slip stitch and chain one and slip stitch chain one till you come to the marker right here and then i will meet you guys there okay when you come to the end so this is gonna be the last slip stitch so make slip stitch in there and then we gonna cut the yarn leave uh, the tail a little bit and then pull the yarn out and remove marker and bring your yarn needle and put the yarn in there and then I gonna insert the needle into the second stitch pull the needle out it's kind of hard I make pretty tight <laughs> stitch <laughs> for this stitch I'm not gonna make too tight okay and then insert the needle into this stitch pull that out and you just um, hide the tail just make sure it's secure okay and then you can trim the tail and now we done congratulations you also can create many things with these stitches as well and this yarn is very good for this kind of stuff for like biscuit and stuff because it's kind of hard okay so thank you so much for watching see you next video bye bye